Hey guys, this is Siddhi from Best of Beauty. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about concealing. So I'm going to teach you how you can conceal those dark circles in three easy steps. So correcting concealing and highlighting as well. What products you're supposed to use for concealing and the colors you're supposed to use for concealing as well because that is really confusing for some people. So this is just going to make it much, much easier for you guys. And I hope you like this video and let's get started. As you guys know that the area around your eye is very sensitive and the skin is really thin as well so it's really important that you take care of that area so for that you really need to use some sort of eye cream because otherwise you're going to see signs of aging really quickly especially around your eye area and you definitely don't want that to happen so i'm going to be using vichy's ideal white eyes deep whitening illuminating concentrate and this is an eye cream that i use on a regular basis and this is what it looks like so we are done with the eye cream and now we're going to move on to the next step and this is the first step in you know getting flawless under eyes and that is correcting now correcting is mainly used when you have heavy dark circles if you don't have that then you definitely don't require correcting if you have dark circles then this is going to help you a lot so as you can see at this point i don't necessarily require correcting because i don't have like heavy dark circles but for this video i'm going to show you how to do that now color is very important when you're correcting so i'm going to show you what color you're supposed to use so i'm going to show you two alternatives that i have so the first one is from krylin and this is the krylin supra color palette that i have and this is what it looks like and this color is the one that you're supposed to use for correcting now you'll be like this is such an orange color how can you use that and it's going to be visible right trust me it's not going to be visible and correcting does make a lot of difference i've used it on my mom as well because she has pigmentation around her eyes and it just covered it up so well so that's why correcting is really important if you have dark circles like heavy ones so this is the color that you're supposed to use this orange shade right here so krylin is actually difficult to get hold of so you can definitely go for this as well this is la girls pro conceal hd and this is an orange corrector that they have and this is what it looks like this is available on nika so definitely go for this if you can't find the krylin one also one more thing that i like to mention is that this is a very pigmented concealer so you need the slightest amount because otherwise if you're going to apply a lot of product the orange is definitely going to be visible so that's a tip and definitely remember that so for today i'm going to be using the krylin corrector and i'm going to be taking my real techniques brush and this is what the brush looks like so taking the corrector i'm just taking the slightest amount because i don't want a lot of product in just one go and then you can just build it up just apply it like here I have like a lot of redness as well under my eyes. Just lightly apply it. So this is what it looks like after you're done correcting and obviously you're now going to see the difference at this point of time because it's supposed to apply concealer on top of this. So the second step is concealing. Now I've got a lot of questions with respect to what color you're supposed to use for concealing purposes. So you're supposed to use the color which is similar to your skin tone and the ones that I'm going to be using today is a combination of two and this is L'Oreal's True Match concealer in light medium and the second one is LA Girls Pro concealer in medium beige and this is what they look like. Okay, so as you can see that they're very similar to my skin color that's there. Also I definitely prefer using a concealer which has a lot of yellow in it because I have yellow undertones and the yellow is going to cancel out the darkness under the eyes as well so make sure you're using a concealer which has yellow undertones and not any other sort of undertones I'm just going to show you the concealer so you all can see what I'm talking about so this is what the LA girl concealer looks like as you can see this is very similar to my skin tone and this has a lot of yellow in it as well and that's why I prefer using this and this is the second one which i have which is l'oreal's true match concealer and as you can see that they're very similar they're almost the same color so this is the l'oreal one and this is the la girl one so this is what i was talking about a lot of yellow in it so now i'm just going to apply both of these concealers under my eyes so the la girl one i'm applying first
Now I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match concealer on top of it. You definitely don't require two concealers, but I just prefer using both. Now I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend the concealer. Make sure that you're just dabbing it lightly. So this is what it looks like after concealing and as you can see that my under eyes are not visible whatsoever. So first step is to apply some corrector which is going to correct the darkness and then on top of it you apply the concealer and both of them together are just going to make so much of a difference so definitely try this technique out. Now I'm just going to apply some foundation on my face and then we're going to move on to the third step. So I'm done with foundation and now we're going to move on to the third step and that is called as highlighting. So highlighting also makes a lot of difference as it brightens up the under eye area and makes it look very fresh and nice. So I'm going to be using my favorite highlighting concealer and this is NYX HD concealer in medium and this is what it looks like up close. So what color concealer you're supposed to use for highlighting your under eye area? So the color has to be just one shade lighter than your natural skin tone that's there. So as you can see that this is the color that I use for concealing purposes. Okay and the next one that is this one I use for highlighting purposes so as you can see this is slightly lighter but as you can see that this also has yellow undertones so this is what I use for highlighting so now I'm just going to show you where exactly you're supposed to highlight so just taking this concealer and applying it right under my eyes over here okay in this shape right here this triangular shape and don't forget the inner corners because they make so much of a difference because you want to brighten up the inner corner as well. So this is how it should look like and now I'm going to blend all of this in place with my beauty blender. So can you see the difference between this eye and that eye? Sorry I applied concealer, I forgot that I'm supposed to show you the difference. But as you can see this looks much much brighter and my eyes look much more awake as compared to this side which looks very dull. So now I'm just going to highlight this side and let's see how it looks. So now we're going to move on to the last step and that is baking. Now baking is also really important because it's just going to set everything in place because you've used three products and you definitely don't want your under eyes to crease. So I'm going to be using RCMA's no color powder. You can use whichever baking powder you have. So again, I'm going to be using my favorite beauty blender and I'm just going to take this on a sponge, the powder that's there. Okay. And just lightly bake my under eye area. If your under eye area is dry then don't keep this powder for a really long time just take it off immediately and if you have oily skin then you can keep it for a while and then you can take it off. So taking a powder brush I am just going to take off the excess powder. And as you can see this just sets everything in place and it looks much more flawless so definitely try baking as well. Now I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and be right back. So I'm done with the face makeup and this is how it should look like. As you can see that my concealing is on point. So definitely try out these three steps and you're going to get the same effect. So yeah guys, this is it for today's video. I'm done with the rest of my face makeup as well. And I hope I made the concealing process very easy for you guys. Just follow these three steps and you'll definitely cover up those dark circles. So remember, correcting, concealing and highlighting. And I've been doing this for a really long time and it definitely works. So try it out for yourselves. And I hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubts or queries then make sure you leave a comment down below because I would love to help you guys out as well. And if you liked it then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. And add me on my snapchat and follow me on my social media as well. All the links are mentioned in the description box below. And hit the subscribe button right now. It will really mean a lot to me and I will see you in the next one. Love you.